So Denver to Austin was the final leg with Brad to get Brad home. Brad's based in Austin himself. So, you know, the whole point of the trip was to hit all these riding spots, you know, as we kind of went down, dropped Brad off, and then it was our way home uh, to get back. Uh, Metro Ground, like a Charlie Fox, Rob Mike, Mike Echo at Shelter, uh, ready for taxi with Alpha. Pacific, uh, Charlie Fox, Rob Mike, Mike, Mike Echo, uh, Metro Ground, uh, runway uh, one, two left, taxi the Alpha, cross runway three. One, two left, yeah, Alpha Cross, runway three, Mike, Mike Echo. Started off with a bit of delays. We ended up getting held up. I think we were probably 40 to 50 minutes on the ground waiting to get out of Rocky Mountain Metro. Is he fucking joint this morning? Yeah, no shit. But you know, right now, this is not an Amy approved taxi speed. <laughs> I've got two steps of holding short runway one, two left. The one it's brutal. It's been 30 it. minutes now since we've started up. Oh, another 8,200 foot density altitude day. Metro Tower, Sky Up. Charlie Fox, Shot Mike, Mike Echo, Metro Tower, thanks for the patience. I'll work on the eye for release, who's number two. Charlie Fox, Shot Mike, Mike Echo, runway 12 left line of weight. There's a Ember on a right down one. Line of weight 12 left, Charlie Fox, Shot Mike, Mike Echo. Looks like 441, continue traffic zone position. Numerous aircraft will be right base for South Parallel. Roger, Fox, 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 Finally got out of there, um, you know, and you could, now we can finally start seeing some performance uh, kind of degrading on the Seneca, where, you know, in order to keep temperatures under control on the CHTs, you know, at our weight, uh, really wasn't going to be able to get much climb performance out of it. So we've been very anxiously waiting this part of the trip, where we are going to pass through New Mexico here, and then the big thing is we're going to pass through Oklahoma for about three minutes. That's pretty cool. And then we're in Texas. Guys, we have a big moment coming up soon. We're going to be flying through Oklahoma for about three minutes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <Woo>. <laughs> That's one more state I've never been to. We are officially over Oklahoma. Uh, welcome aboard. Are you looking for the high V or Demi Tachyon? Stunning. It looks very boring. <laughs> did a fuel stop at uh, Hotel 81, which is just south of Amarillo, which turned out we didn't even realize it was going to be this kind of air park area. But landed there, filled up with fuel. It was 39 degrees on the ground, just smoking hot there. All right, hopefully it starts back up. Amarillo, baby. Come on. That was actually the first time after restarting. I knew I was, we were going to be kind of on the verge of vapor locking, but that was actually the first time ever in the Seneca, which has usually been pretty good with vapor locking. Um, that was the first time that it absolutely vapor locked, um, so needed to do the full flooded hot start uh, procedure with it. Got it going. It took a little bit of finessing um, to not shut down after starting, but uh, got it going, got rid of the vapor lock, and then we blasted off out of uh, Amarillo en route to Austin. Those uh, fine wire spark plugs really hooking up there. <laughs> All right, clear right, clear left. River Falls, traffic, Seneca, Charlie, Foxtrot, Mike, Mike, Echo, take from my one set of via set on departure, River Falls. All right, takeoff power is set, airspeed's alive. Uh, and River Falls traffic, cap point 4298, 11 miles to the south, will be uh, downwind leg for 17, full stop, River Falls. Sir, your bike is here and ready for you. Thank you, sir. Got into Austin and just had such an incredible time there. The food scene is amazing. The drink scene is amazing. We ended up meeting up with two uh, two friends that I'd known via social media. Chip and Chris met up with them for drinks, which is super awesome. And then we almost had a little bit of an issue pre-flighting the plane the day before. It just happened. Just had a gear uh, concern. No green light. There is green light. Almost had a crisis on hand. I'm trying to get out of Texas tomorrow at 5 a.m. Through a bit of troubleshooting uh, with my AME back home, ended up figuring out that there was one extra hidden gear switch tucked up deep inside the wheel well on the Seneca. So, sticky switch, it thought that the gear was up still. Thankfully, ended up getting that fixed and didn't need to stay grounded in Austin. Uh -huh.